Hello everyone, today's video I'm going to show you how I set up my outdoor fish tub for breeding and for keeping guppies as well. In this video, I'm using a heavy duty large plastic storage box. Since this box is new, we just need to rinse the box using this pressure hose to remove bad factory odors. Instead of manually filling up the tub, I'm using this pressure hose to fill up the tub with water immediately. Since this is an outdoor setup, rain will fall directly to our tub, causing the water to overflow. In this case, we will make holes on the top side to prevent the water from overflowing and prevent guppies as well from escaping out. Rock salt will be added inside to condition the water and kill possible bad bacteria as well. Rock salt is safe for guppies, so no need to worry. One tablespoon of rock salt is added per 10 liters of water. And I'm using my new fish net to dissolve the salt inside this tub. Once rock salt is dissolved, we will condition the water for about 5 days before we can use it for breeding or keeping our guppies. On the third day, white substances appear on top surface unfortunately there's a rain so we will wait for another day on the fifth day of conditioning our guppy setup some dead leaves fall into the tub so i decided to remove them out from the tub we also make sure to scoop out any dust and white substances on top surface so it won't harm our guppies some dead leaves already sit at the bottom so i will allow them to stay there to help condition the tub plant is very important when breeding guppies so we cut some plants from the other tubs guppy grass is one of the best plant to use when breeding guppies they not just help filter the water but they also provide shelter to our baby guppies here at my setup I use floating algae to prevent my tubs from turning green and it also helps balance the water parameter making a safe environment for our guppies. So I decided to cut a small piece of floating algae from the other tub and place it on our newly set up fish tub. After completing our setup, we prepare an adult female Santa Claus guppies inside this cup and for juvenile female Santa Claus guppies as well. Before releasing these female guppies to the breeding tub, we make sure to acclimate them to avoid getting water shock. While acclimating the female guppies, we will also choose male Santa Claus guppies in this tub for breeding. Male Santa Claus guppies are really stunning when viewed on top. But today, we will only choose two males for breeding. After a few minutes, we were able to select two beautiful males. Their colors are vibrant. Both of them are healthy and very active as well, which is important when choosing a male, since male guppies need to be more active when chasing the females. So we will also acclimate our male Santa Claus guppies. Acclimation is done for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure guppies are safe before releasing them to the breeding tub. After 15 minutes, it's time to release them to the breeding tub. Females as usual started to gather at the bottom to look for food, while males stay on top while they are still adjusting to the environment. Live food is very important when breeding guppy fish to ensure our female guppies will have healthy pregnancy so make sure we can provide them live foods. It's also important to offer them other variety of food such as protein dried pellets and make sure to feed them with love as well. Every after 3 days or twice a week we make sure to siphon all the dirts and poops inside the tub to prevent ammonia spike. Like human, we don't like staying in a dirty house full of poops. So make sure to do it regularly.
After siphoning all the dirts, make sure to remove 30% of water from the breeding tub whether it's clear or not. It's very important to replace new water to the tub. Since we take out 30% of old water, we also need to top up 30% fresh water to the tub. At this moment, I'm doing it manually instead of using pressure hose. Make sure to feed your guppies properly and do regular water change to keep your guppies healthy. Two weeks since we set up this tub, floating algae have grown already and guppy grass plants have grown bushy already at the bottom. This makes a perfect hiding grounds for baby guppies in the future. Now let's go ahead and check some of our female Santa Claus guppies using this viewing tank. Here I was able to catch one of the female and you can see that this female is very healthy. We decided to place the female inside the viewing tank and as you can see, this female is very stunning. It has wide caudal tail and she looks very healthy. Now let's take a closer look and I'm happy that we can already see baby guppies developing in her tummy and she will give birth soon. So just follow this video and I'm pretty sure you can also breed your fish successfully. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.